Voters took to the polls Tuesday for a handful of special elections, and one of them, House District 58, and that includes Dover, Temple Terrace, Mango, Sefner, the Notasassa, parts of Tampa, and Plant City. Two Republicans battling it out in what you might call a whirlwind campaign. Insiders consider Yvonne Fry, a Plant City native with a long history of civic and community activities in the rural and small town district to win. But in the end, it was 30-year-old Hillsborough County businessman Lawrence McClure who came away the winner, beating Fry 55 to 45 percent. Now, McClure is a Hillsborough County native who has been active in agriculture, a board member of the Hillsborough County Farm Bureau for the last two years, and current chair of the building committee. He joins me in studio this morning. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you. Uh, the seat obviously vacated by uh, Representative Dan Rollerson. Uh, he had to resign because of health issues. Um, so the whirlwind campaign, essentially, uh, you, you essentially had two months. Uh, how, why now, and uh, how, how was it in, the, in those two months? Well, um, when Representative Rollerson announced that he intended to resign, uh, my wife and I sat down and, and uh, prayed a lot and took some time to, to really make sure it was right uh, for where we were at in our lives. I think where my professional experiences overlap with, with the district's needs for, for representation, um, it was a good fit. And so we felt it was a good time to go forward. Let's talk about the campaign itself. Uh, sure. Many people called it contentious. There were waves of mailers against Yvonne Fry, talking about uh, her being a so-called liberal, uh, pro-tax, anti-gun candidate. Was your campaign responsible for those mailers? Uh, no, no. Our campaign, uh, we, we went and knocked uh, countless doors every day, uh, reached out to the folks had great conversations, great dialogue. Then who was responsible for it? Well, I think when you look around, it was, uh, you know, there were some, some outsiders that got involved and, um, you know, very conservative people that uh, had some questions, um, but, but my campaign was not involved. But your campaign may have not have been involved, but your name was attached to it. Does that affect your campaign in your mind at all? Uh, yeah, you know, it makes it difficult when you don't, when, when you don't control the information flow, when it's not coming out of your mouth. And I think that's why uh, there was such a priority on going and meeting as many people as possible um, to tell them our story, my story, why I'm running, what I, what I intend to do, and, um, and asking them to hold me accountable uh, as a representative moving forward. All right, now you, you, you have a history of working with local and state elected officials and business owners on such things as environmental issues, water supply, and land use. Uh, you talk about regulating, uh, re-regulating government interference with small businesses and farmers. Is that the basis uh, of your platform? Well, sure. I, you know, so I interface with, with government on all levels every day, local, state, and federal. And how is it, I, I'm curious, how is it that you do that? Um, well, you know, I own an environmental consulting company. We, we specialize in water quality, water contamination. And so, um, you know, we're, we're dealing with all levels of government regulation on, on water quality. And what we're finding is, you know, a lot of times just in different levels of government, you have duplicative processes. Uh, and then sometimes within uh, same level, but, but different agencies within duplicative processes. And that takes time. It takes money. It, it, uh, it does not stimulate the economy. and um, So when many people say, hey, this guy is a political newcomer, you would say... I've been, I've been up in Tallahassee for the last four or five years advocating on behalf of not only water quality, uh, finding uh, efficiencies within regulations in that space, but also uh, in my capacity as a Farm Bureau uh, member working on ag, ag policy issues. Um, so I've been to Tallahassee for, for four or five years. I've been a part of the process advocating as a constituent um, to, to make the state better. And so, I look to continue that work as a representative. So uh, what I'm hearing is if there's a misconception uh, that you're a political newcomer, that is not the case. You are already, you've been part of the game, if you will. Well, I would say that I, I've been involved as a concerned citizen. Uh, and, and I think that's probably the best way uh, anyone can get involved in, in the political process is you have legitimate concerns, whether it's uh, in, your, in your private life or in your professional capacity, and you go and you meet with your, your representation and you discuss them and say, hey, look, this is a real problem in our community, and uh, how can we fix it? And so that, that has been a, a big part of why I ran. I've got 60 seconds left, so I, real quick. Three top issues you consider important to the voters in your district. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, agriculture. Uh, we, we have an ag industry that um, really needs our full attention. Uh, transportation and education. Uh, this district, this district, essentially always goes Republican. 
pro, uh, very Republican. Uh, w when the general election takes place uh, on December 19th, uh, do you think it will stay that way? Well, I, I think that uh, our team is, is prepared to, to go and meet as many folks, get our message out. Uh, look, it's, it's kind of like starting over in the general election. You, you go through all, all the same steps, go and, and meet and talk and visit with the people and um, explain to them why you want to represent them. And I think if we do that, we should be fun. So I'm hearing confident, but not overconfident. I certainly hope not. I think that's how you have kind of a, a rough night on December 19th. Lawrence McClure, thanks for joining us in studio today. Appreciate Thank it very so much. much.